I am Kat Wood, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my early birthday gift from my sweet, amazing husband. Yes, our little producer is here. Come up here. Come back up here. And he hears me, of course, start the video, so he wants to be a part of it. So, as you can see in front of you, I have a beautiful bag. Oh my goodness, this thing is gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it, love it so much. So if you have been a subscriber since the beginning, so since 2018, you have seen my purse, uh, I guess, journey with me. When I first started and for many, 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 many years, I was okay with just getting purses from either secondhand, uh, the Goodwills, yard sales, a lot of yard sale purses that I seen, I gravitate towards a ton of pockets. I'm like, oh, Beautiful, beautiful material, beautiful everything. Like vintage purses, I'm totally a fan of and the price point never has been a thing for me. Really because I can't afford it. So I'm not the type of person that's going to sit there and googly eye, um, get all like disappointed. Okay, this is going to keep this in. And get disappointed because I can't, I can't have it so no one else can have it you know i'm not that type of person i won't go out of my way to look at other people's stuff if i can't get it just to upset myself you know so if i want like a bag that's like a thousand dollars i can't afford it i'm not going to sit there and look at that thousand dollar bag uh <laughs> every day just to upset me no some people can't afford it some people can't and i'm okay with that that's how i i was raised and that's how I go throughout my everyday life. Um, you have to know where you're at on your means on spending money. And if you want something really bad, you can always save up for it. So uh, we've been together for going on 16 years now. So a really long time. And when we were gifting things, uh, my wedding band is another, another huge ex example. He upgraded my wedding band. He got a, an amazing promotion at work, more money. So whenever he gets more money, his first thing is, uh, I'm going to upgrade my wife. I'm going to get her a nicer ring. I'm going to get her a nicer purse. I'm going to get her nicer shoes, you know, stuff like that. So I, I love seeing this transformation when it can, comes to my purses. Like if you go back through my videos, you can see like, Oh, she was using this purse completely fine with it you know it's just it's it's amazing and it's exciting to see and it's all because of my husband I don't know anything about this type of stuff I think he does a ton of research before he goes in and grabs you know he knows where to steer me because when I go into a store I'm like overwhelmed instantly I'm like oh this everything's so beautiful sparkly amazing I don't know where to go like I almost get paralyzed when I get into the store but he's like come on let's go this way we'll walk around this way look at this do you like this style you know it, it's amazing there's not a lot of guys out there like that so I'm extremely extremely blessed to say he's my husband all right so this one in particular this is my birthday present and it's a couple of weeks early but hey we don't ever do anything on time Christmas present It'd be at the beginning of the month it's never like on the day so it's just that's how we do in our family we don't hold we can't hold secrets very well <laughs> so um a lot of my sisters they know that about me i'll tell them like hey i'm gifting you something and it's supposed to be a secret but they already know it's on the way so anyways so this one right here this is as you can tell from the big old coach word in front of it this is a darcy Darcy carry all this is in the medium size there is one smaller than it but the name I did not know the name until I got home what drew me to this a bag for one it's the colors I love the colors this little guy does not come with it you have to pay you have to buy this little guy extra so let me take him off really quick and that's that's a whole little different story itself okay so the look of this bag, I love the colors. Um, I love the two tone, three tone, really. There's three different colors going. Four, there's four different colors. We got the black, 
for the zipper, the black for the leather accents. We got the dark brown, the like nice little chocolate feel. It does have sort of a like fall feel to it, but with this white and this over here clash, it kind of has like, I don't know, like almost like a summery feel. I don't know, it's beautiful. And then the first thing I wanted to look at when I looked at it was, does it have little feet? It has little feet. There's something about the little feet at the bottom of the purse that just I really, really love. So this one, again, if this is a Darcy, if you know me and you've been following me, my little traveler's notebook uh, obsession, the Mr. Darcy leather has been my favorite. That was my very, very first uh, traveler's notebook. That I, that I purchased myself and I love it. I love it. So, of course, I'll finish that story here in a minute. Let me let me continue on with what, what this is. So, this is the bigger one. There is a tinier one. The pockets is where it's at for me. So, we have this tiny, thin pocket up here, which I don't want to use too much because I'm afraid of wearing it out and getting this front part looking all wonky. But I don't know if it's going to happen anyways because I'm in this one. So if you all, if you, anyone in the comments knows anything about this bag and you know if this part looks wonky just from this use up here, please let me know because I keep my chargers, like my phone charger, my watch charger, my tablet charger. I keep it all up here. So if I need to, I'll switch it to the back. So this back part can look, you know, a little wonky, but I don't want this part doing it. All right, so this has a pocket right here and a pocket right here. And then it also has a pocket on the inside. So this is where I slide my phone when I'm like going out to the store or anything. I'll put it in here. I don't ever carry my chargers. My watch one is in here now. So I have my watch one. And then, of course, we always have to have like our little um, emergency kit for our nails. If we ever to hang nail or clip nail or something like that. We have that in here. I do have right here a real quick just on the go pin and then my book light. So I do have a few little items here but not something that I reach for every day. Not for sure if I'll keep them there but just like if I'm on the go and uh, it's dark out I could read my Bible still with my, my little book light. Of course my Bible is always with me so I have my Whatever my daily driver or cuddle Bible is, that would be right here in the back part. The main part of it will be on the inside. Of course, I always have my knife. I have my full size case knife can fit in here, but I like my little black beauty. It just, it, it just fits a little bit better for this size purse. So I have my little black beauty in here and I have the wallet that matches, look, it matches the little bear and it's just it was like I've had this for like five years now like this was like my first coach um like item and then my second bear was my wherever he is he's somewhere around here my second little bear or my first bear this is my second bear so this was my first coach the bear was the second coach and then this is the third and fourth okay so anyways and then continuing on in here I have my pen case so I love these these are from Galen leathers make sure you go check them out you can get just the sleeves like this or you can get a pen case and you can slide them in that way too okay so like I said the name is Darcy carry all I have to carry my little Darcy on the inside I mean how could you not my traveler's notebook matches my the name of the purse too so i have my little darcy on the inside that by if you're curious about the size that is a pocket so i believe an a5 size would fit in here let me grab one that is not being used <clears throat> let's see this is the a5 mr darcy Oh yeah, he fits perfectly in the middle. So if he fits in the middle, he's going to fit in the back too. So if you can see that here, so an A5 can fit in any one of these pockets. 
don't know about that one up front, but you see. Okay. So I got my little Darcy. And then on the inside over here, there's another little pocket. You could put your phone on the inside in case it's like raining or anything. I, again, I try to keep it pretty much empty so there's not really adding too many forms and stuff. I love the tag, the coach tag that they have over here. It's like leather. And then over here, I just have like the essentials. I don't know if you can see it very well. The angle of my phone. Here, let me get you down and then that may work a little bit better. So you could just slide in here. So again, chapstick, always have to have chapstick. There's like four different types of chapstick in there. I like to keep the information for the purse itself in here. So the tag, any kind of warnings, any little bookings, books that it comes with, that will stay in there too. I have my prayer wooden cross. I have my nasal spray. There's emergency packs in here. Um, again, more emergency packs. There's chapstick here. There's hand cream in there. And then that is everything. So just one of those little bibs and bobs little area you could put in there. I'm surprised I don't have another fingernail clippers in there. Watch that end up happening. But so that, I mean, that has, that could carry quite a bit. Now the little teddy bear, he's just a keychain. He's for a keychain. He's not really meant to be like a cute little charm on the bag, but there was no way I could, I could resist it. Like he matches the bag. Let me put you down a little bit. Perfectly. He looks like he was just made to be right here. So instead of weighing down my keys, he is going to be sitting on my purse. And it's kind of difficult because I also want to use my other little teddy bear. I'll grab him really quick too. So you can see. But this back pocket, I really like how the size of that back pocket. I don't have to worry about the pages of my Bibles being mixed up. Because you know sometimes when you put your Bible on the inside, there's enough room for it to sort of fall and slide down. Like, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about putting other things around the front and the back of the Bible to keep it smashed in together. It just slides in perfectly and slides out. So that is super cute. It does come with a, um, an overcrawl, an over body strap. That one, let me grab it. Okay, so this is the over strap. It's a little bit thin. I wish they had it a, a little bit thicker. I like the thicker over, but like the straps. So it's just a little thin for my liking and I still gotta get it like, um, I guess worn in. So, and it's too, for the stuff that I carry, it's just, it's too heavy just to use this as a, like a regular handbag. So if I don't put my Bible in there, my traveler's notebook and all the big extra stuff, I could probably do it as a handbag, but I like carrying my Bible. In my traveler's notebook, I don't know if you've seen, I technically don't need my daily driver with me because my traveler's notebook already has a Bible. So I'm technically carrying two Bibles around and I really don't need to do that. So if I just have my little Mr. Darcy with my little ESV compact, yes, ESV compact Bible. I know everyone's gonna ask about it because it is a pocket size. I don't need something like this in there because that does weigh it down, it adds another five pounds to it. So this right here was my second little coach item and he is adorable, I just love the little sky bear. I got a little kitty hair on it because he was sitting on the couch, but his clip-in is different than the other one. Like he actually has a full little clasp here and then the key ring here. That one doesn't come like that. So I don't know, maybe it was meant for the purse because this other one hangs down lower too. He looks like an actual keychain, but you know, so I will switch out the bears as the season comes along. 
All right, so, oh, one last thing. What did I do with them? My husband also got me a little notebooks for my year. For the nano size. So this little nano, Shakespeare nano, the smallest size that they make, super tiny. It's difficult to find things to like you like to put in them there we go couldn't figure out what I was gonna say what to put in them so these little spiral bound cute little notebooks I wish they came with cats but they're nothing but dogs cute little dogs cute little outfits cute little covers these little straps are adorable it's from Molly and Rex they are just spiral bound I don't know if they come in other ways other bounds I don't know they don't mess up the leather at all so that's been another question they do not mess up the leather and I have it on the string just like you would anything else but they fit the little Shakespeare nano perfectly so you got me a couple of those too so that is it I had to come on here and share it with you all now I can start showing a couple of page uh, pictures of it all right that is it if you do have any questions I don't know what to answer what else to say about it but anyways remember be a creative tool in our father's art box i will talk to you all later bye